Hello everyone, my name is Agent Paul of Mobile Task Force Delta 7, codenamed Bookkeepers. And welcome back to their SCP document review. And the SCP reviewing today is SCP-7572. Object class, safe. Special container procedures. Due to its location, SCP-7572 necessitates no real containment. All further research inquiries regarding the SCP, including attempts to access its topmost floor, are redirected to Site-45. Description: SCP-7572 is a large stone tower located inside of SCP-2746-1, which, as a refresher, is an extra-dimensional space that had once been inhabited by a society of sapient animals. Following a civil war between the inhabitants that opposed the orders of the entity known as the Maker, the supposed creator of the SCP and its population, following the war between them and its followers, it was entirely abandoned. On the outside, it is entirely non-anomalous and stands at 20 meters of height. From the inside, however, its height appears to be infinite. SCP-7572's interior is made up of several floors, all connected by a single spiral staircase. Walking down the staircase from ground level gives access to one floor. Walking up the staircase from ground level gives access to a seemingly infinite amount of floors. So far, vertical exploration of over 600 levels is yet to access its topmost floor, if one even exists. As such, it has been assumed that SCP-7572's height does not adhere to the rules of Euclidean geometry and simply continues on without any limits. During initial discovery, the entry to SCP-7572's interior and its lowest windows were covered in a series of mostly destroyed wooden planks. Analysis of the damage done to them revealed that they were all done by various animal paws over the course of multiple days including spotted hyenas, brown bears, and wolverines. Since then, the structures have been removed for ease of access. Addendum 7572-1 Lists of SCP-7572 Floors Following several explorations of the exterior, a full record of the 627 floors which have so far been explored was created. Below attached is an abridged list of the ones which have been deemed the most important for further research. And here we have the floor number and a description. Basement. A small cellar scarcely filled with food racks and barrels. Though these containers vary in size and shape, they are all entirely empty, with large bite marks visible upon them. Large portions of the room are demolished in a similar manner to the barricades located near SP-7572's entry. Several of the stones which make up its walls and floors were haphazardly removed, as if in search of something. Ground Floor A lobby decorated with seats, tables, and several miniature figures of buildings, all in various stages of disrepair. Over the doors leading into the room, a big mosaic depicting several animals and a light in the form of a humanoid shining above them is located. The latter character has been since crossed out with several claw marks, as have five of the animals. Notably, two rabbits, two cats, and a wolf. The silhouette of a burning fire has been similarly engraved around the scene. First Floor A study, its walls covered in various architectural plans, schematics, and drawings. One of them depicts 7572 with a bright star, similar in form to the light depicted in the mosaic on ground floor, drawn over its final, still unfinished level. The paper depicting the area located immediately next to the tower's door has been violently scratched off. Third floor, a storeroom filled with several shelves and boxes, all containing building materials, similar to those used in the SCP's construction. Over some of the containers, Diagrams depicting ants and moles moving the aforementioned materials towards the topmost floor, drawn in schematics present on the floor too, can be seen. Notably, most of the building materials seem to have been already used. Seventh floor, a library, its walls covered in several bookcases, seemingly relating to various architectural styles, materials, 
and practitioners of the art. Most of their insides have been violently removed or ripped out, similar to the manner used to uncover parts of the basement and rip up the schematics on floor 2. A majority of the destroyed books seem to somehow share a pattern of a star depicted on their cover, though various also contain imagery similar to the five animals crossed out on the mosaic on the ground floor. 12th floor. A large room with a long table and a map, seemingly of SCP-2746-1, sitting in its middle. On it, several points are circled in red, with small diagrams of what appears to be bread loaves, cross swords, and exclamation marks next to them. Cross swords appear next to diagrams of starlight and diagrams of a wolf. Bread loaves appear atop civilian buildings. Exclamation marks appear next to areas that contain both wolf and bread diagrams. The point on the map corresponding to SP-7572's location bears the symbol of a shield. No other circled points share this identification. 16th floor. A room filled with several bed-like structures scattered around it in disarray. Some of them appear to be be covered in dried up blood and bitten bones, while others are ripped up. The entry leading to this level was covered in heavy barricades reminiscent of those present near SCP-7572's entry. Similarly to those fortifications, they have also been destroyed. The entry leading to the level above is decorated with a red arrow pointing up. Floor 17 all the way up to floor 627. All floors higher than floor 17 have been found to be identical, entirely empty rooms. Their structure is less stable than that of the levels that came before them, as if they were frantically assembled in an attempt to increase the height of SCP-7572. The only thing of note in all of them is a red arrow pointing up, identical to the one found on floor 16. Addendum 7572-2, File Update on July 7th, 2007, a Foundation Exploration Squad reached the 776th floor of SCP-7572. Upon entering it, they reported that they were entirely incapable of ascending further. Though the staircase continued on normally, it had been found that subjects instructed to continue up were stopped halfway through their tracks. The makeup of the 776th floor itself differs from the set of identical 759 floors below it. Its walls are covered in dried up blood with several discarded items and bones lying around. Analysis revealed that the remains belong to various animal species, including the European mole, with bite marks present on them, consistent with spotted hyena and brown bear markings. The discarded items themselves are mostly personal curia, such as medallions and pendants depicting other animals. The only noteworthy of the objects is a small journal, whose pages are covered in schematics of SCP-7572 and drawings depicting its 776 floors. The page that would describe the 777th floor has been ripped out. The one immediately next to it contains a short poem that, when translated from Old Dialect A-12, Old Angelic, reads, No people in... No respite in heaven. To choose between peace and life is no choice at all. So far, no means, both anomalous or not, have been found to be capable of persuading individuals to walk further than the first step of the staircase leading to the 777th floor. And that is it. Well, everyone, thank you so much for listening or watching. My name is Andrew Pell of MTF Delta 7, and I'll see you next week with another document review. Bye.